everybody to Brew Review University. I am your host, Jennifer, <laughs> along with my going to be fired co host, Donnie, over here. We had some conversation just right now, just, yeah, just right before that. the show. All <laughs> so. right. Anyways, before we can get started, here's Donnie with his disclaimer. Children, before we get started, I'd like to say just drink up. Everything we show you today, pull out of your parents' cabinet and I'm just kidding. Don't do oh that. Oh, my God. Children, it's time for you to go to bed now. This show is definitely not for you. You must be of drinking age 21 or older in this state and 18 and other, under in other states. So, as I get started... 18 and under? Oh, you just... Have I been drinking? <laughs> Here's Donnie with the disclaimer. Children, it is time for you to go to bed now. Do something else. The show is definitely not for you. This is con consumption of alcoholic beverages for adults only. If you are not 21 or of drinking age, it's time for you to go to bed now. On tonight's show... Wait! Class is in session. You have the disclaimer and that is it. I'm about ready to go like this to you. But anyways, on today's show, we're bringing you nothing but black, dark lagers. Yes, exactly. Schwarzbiers. Oh, Schwarzbiers. Schwarzbiers. All right. So, let me just start real quick and tell you what a Schwarzbier is. <laughs> Sometimes called black lagers that originated in Germany. Opaque black in color with hints of chocolate coffee, generally about 5%. Uh, and very similar to a stout in that is made with roasted malts. So. Got it. Um, roasted malts. Got it. I was going to start out with Death in Taxes from Moonlight Brewing, uh, which would be, uh, if I could just get our text to just show this can real quick. But I'm going to grab another one um, that is this here, which is... Basically, Integrin and Moonlight Brewing got together and made this Schwarzbier. So, we're going to do that one instead. Um, let's do it. I'm going to pour this one. Let me tell you a little bit about this one. Um, <clears throat> this one here is a collab between Integrin and Moonlight Brewing. It's an American Reinhatzgewatt. Sure I'm not that. sure. Let me let me look. Ryan Hotz give out. Um, it's a Czech style dark lager. Uh, ABV on this is 5.8. IBU is 40. This has 161 check ins and rates a 4.16. I don't know why you're filling it up for me. Uh, I don't know either. I'm going to fill it up for me though, for sure. So. Let's put that over there, and I'm going to give you the rest of this information on this one. The rest of the information on this one, uh, and which is going to be the tasting notes on pretty much all of these, is roasty, toasty, malty, light, and bready. Uh, this particular one is, there's four basically four ingredients in this particular beer that were uh, German purity laws of 1516 which is water, malt, hop, and yeast. So that is this collaboration. So let's put this up here. And did you taste it already? <laughs> okay. So off the top, I definitely do get that roast. Um, I would expect a little bit more roast, but yeah, it's roasty. I do. See, I don't do dark lagers. I can barely do regular lagers. This is very clean for a for a dark lager. Very clean. Um, definitely does have that chocolatey, roasty taste to it. Um, I wouldn't consider it like stoutish. I would definitely consider it a light roast. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't drink these, so I don't know. It's just not my thing. Well, let's see if you can do the next one. Well, I'm sure I can drink it for sure. <laughs> so, I'm here. I'm going to do one. Let's pull out this one here from one of our favorites from another category is basically Oozle Finch. And Oozle Finch has a subcategory brewery, I guess, um, a subsidiary of their brewery called Nost Brewing Project. Yep. Okay, and this is Death, it's called Death by Nostalgia. This is a Czech style dark lager. They are out of Fort Monroe, Virginia. Um, I did forget to actually say Ennegrin was from Moor Park and Moonlight is from Santa Rosa, California. So just just jumping back a little bit. Slacking already. <laughs> so, but anyway, this one is from Fort Monroe, Virginia. I'll set this over here so you get a good look at it. This one is definitely a little bit lighter in, like, I shouldn't say lighter. It's a... Uh, it's a more chocolatey brown than the last one. The last one was kind of clear, almost an amberish color. So, anyway, this one is a 4.3 ABV in 32 IBU. On untapped, it rates a 3.63 with 340 check-ins. Uh, basically, the only difference in tasting notes would be that they say this one's a little bit smoky. So, let's uh, see what we get out of that. I didn't get the smoky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely smoky. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually smoky. And, like, if you just brew this over the campfire, you got the campfire smell. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> it definitely does have that campfire-ish uh, taste to it. And it stays there on your palate, which is kind of nice. I, I actually like that. It's different taste you know uh, um a little bit more body to this one too would you say from the last one yeah you know like you can you can actually catch that quite a bit yeah it's definitely a different uh, flavor than i've tried yeah and, and definitely a different color also the color is is what is kind of weird well it's not weird it's just you can see it's definitely got some body to it so but anyway, that was very good. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's move on. We're going to move on to a company called Ogopogo Brewing. Ogopogo. And this particular beer is called Not Crap. Yeah, we did a review on this, <laughs> so, this one on the page. So, this is, again, this is a Squash Buyer. These are all Squash Buyers slash Dark Loggers today. This company as, is out of San Gabriel, California. This is a 5.5 ABV. The IBU is not stated. This has got 61 check-ins. Again, that was 61 check-ins, and on untapped, this rates a 3.85. It still only has 61 check-ins? Yeah, which is surprising. That is that is definitely surprising to me. That was a me. while ago when we did that. Radio. Yeah, that is, to me, that is definitely, where am I going with this? Right there. That is definitely surprising because it's been a while since we first had not crap or we we re gosh we reviewed uh, not crap mm -hmm. and uh, gosh you know still only have sixty one check ins I'm not really sure why that is people just aren't checking it in but um, it's I think it's you know it was great when we reviewed it I haven't review I haven't had it in a while so I'm but before we do this I'm going to clear my palate again. You clear yours, I'll clear mine with my apple juice. I'm clearing mine with urban water. I don't know what you're clearing yours with. It's an apple juice. <laughs> so, let's set this up here. Did you finish? You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Wow, definitely a different 
Different aroma off the top again. All three of these off the top have been very different. Um, and it has a different flavor. I think this is more coffee-ish is what I get. I think yeah, I, I definitely that. get like a I more coffee-ish, like a coffee-ish lager. Uh, I would say, you know, gosh, if if you like coffee and lagers, hell, definitely try this. This is this is very good. It's just you gotta, you know, you gotta like both. I know it's such a yeah. I'm not a coffee drinker, so it's hard for me to try some of the beers that you bring home. Some stouts that you bring. Uh, it's yes. hard for me to drink them. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to put the death and taxes up here just so people can see the can and what it looks like. But it's very simple. Death and taxes from Moonlight Brewing. Yeah, we sure are dying from taxes. <laughs> death and taxes for sure. If you live in, Those Cal are... if you live in California. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, what is... Just so people who watch out of state, what is fuel right now in for regular gasoline? Um, it's over six. It's over six for the cheapo stuff. I want to say it's about six nineteen for the cheap. So then you got mm, six thirty nine for the, whatever the second medium grade is. So then you got six fifty nine six sixty nine for primo. Yeah, so I can't afford primo. I can only really afford cheapo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when we hear the national average. Of four dollars. When we hear the national average, today, I would love to pay four dollars. <laughs> I would fill up my car for four dollars. I can only afford to put four days of gas to get to work a week <laughs> in my car. <laughs> Truly, when we hear the national average here in California, you know, we just kind of laugh because that's really not our state average at all. Not even close. Oh. So, but anyway, I'm gonna read off the last beer that we have here uh, this beer is called well it's from central coast brewing it's called general schwartz which is a again a black lager they are out of san luis obispo california abv on this is 5.3 ibu is 20 which the ibu in all of these is going to be pretty low uh for the most part so if you like that lighter IBU, not such a bitterness on the end of it. These are all fantastic. I like the lower IBU. Yeah, so this one here has 1,000 check-ins and rates a 3.83. But something special about this one is in 2016, this one won a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival. Nice. So this one is should be definitely, definitely above average. You know, just, uh, I'm going to, before, let me just do this real quick. <sighs> Can you do that? I'll do this. <laughs> what was that for? Because that one has a stronger taste than the other three. As far as... A coffee taste? It does or... have coffee taste. It's just stronger to me. Okay. So what was the ABV on this one? This one was a... The other ones are lighter. I think it was a 5... Because you me, said it's only 20 quick. IBU? Yes, this one was a 5.3 to 20 IBU. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it, it does have the coffee in there. See, if I was a coffee drinker, I could drink it, no problem. But I'm not. I see what you're talking about. I'm not. I'd have to have and one of the not, other ones. And it's not an alcohol. No, it's not an alcohol. It's not alcohol. It is a, just a stronger, like, uh, a stronger roasted taste is what it is. Yeah. And that gives a little bit more bitterness toward the end of it yeah. is, is what I'm getting. Yeah, because the other, the other three are lighter. To, to me, they're lighter. So, yeah. And so... And to be honest with you, lately, this is what I've been doing a lot of. Uh, black lagers and, well, squash fires. But 
this is what I've been doing a lot of, and I, I really enjoy this style of beer. Uh, it's just been one of my favorites lately, so I, I get to really try uh, all the different ones available right now. Yep. So. Yes, he does. So, anyway, what do you got, lady? We want you to be on our podcast. So, if you're an artist, a musician, a brewery, or just your average Joe or average Shane, we would love to have you come on our show. You can showcase your talent. We can do an episode exclusive of just your beers here in the studio or out on location, or you can sit uh, next to us and uh, give your take on the uh, beers that we're presenting. Also, make sure that you are subscribed on YouTube. That way you get notified of our weekly episodes that drop. And we are also on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And make sure to follow us on those. Uh, we do five weekly, weekly beer reviews. So uh, check it out. You might uh, see something that you like. But uh, we always appreciate the support. So that is all I got. Well, that's all I got to you. So let's just go ahead and finish this up. As we end this class, we want you to raise your glass and cheers. Cheers. See you next time.